Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome back. It's Saturday morning and so that means we're gonna go to some garage sales. So let's go see what we found. Morning. an elephant comes by. How much on the Pachinko machine? Um, it comes with a box of balls on top too. I mean, I do 40. I want to get rid of it. Okay. And that right there. 20, and I'll throw that in if you get all, all, all of it. I just bought it, man. Huh? I just bought it. Okay. How much was it? <laughs> 40 bucks.
Throw that in. on that reel. Let me see which one that is. It's the pin, uh, pen. Yeah. Level line. You want to do 10? Five on it. I'll five. do 10 right now. Yeah. What's that? Oh, yeah, I need to get mine on here. How's it going, man? Pretty good, you? Not too bad. Anything in particular you're looking for? Ah, just been out browsing. Fair enough. What you do on all the comics? On the whole batch? Yeah. Uh, are you talking about all three boxes? Is that one, two? Uh, 
Um, what I was asking in the ad was like a buck for anything bagged and boarded and then 50 cents for anything that was loose. Now, let's see, uh, how many is it in a box? About 250, right? Something like that. I guess, I don't know. Uh, I think it's... What are these things really worth, you think? What's that? What are they worth, you think? You got anything? It, it depends on how you're gonna sell them. I mean, yeah. there's some actually decent stuff, especially in this box of Marvel here. That stuff in the DC box, there's some decent stuff for like from the 90s. Most of it's from like 2000, 2015, something like that. Um, I'd be willing to do 50 bucks a pop for each of the long boxes and probably 20 bucks a pop for the little boxes. So that's 100 and maybe, maybe 150 for the whole batch. And you could take those uh, graphic novels too. But, you know, I'm willing to, <laughs> willing to negotiate. So what do you got in these over here? Uh, this is mostly independent stuff. Actually, one of these, this box is all Marvel. Some bagged and boarded. I mean, there's some decent stuff in there, you know. Some old school Wolverines and shit. Um, but lot. then these other two boxes, I think they're mostly independents and, uh, and uh, maybe some DC Vertigo in there too. I think there's an early, there's a couple of early Hellblazers in there too. Yeah, this is all doubles or stuff that I'm just I have no need for. You already have this. What's uh, that? You already have all this elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, totally. I wish I knew more about comics. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you were uh, if you're looking to just pick stuff up to read, there's some you know some small runs in there. If you're looking to turn it over, you could make some money if you're buying the whole lot for 150. You just have to actually go through and do the work, which I just yeah. have no interest in doing. Yeah, like that Thor right there, that's like second or third Beta Ray Bill that you were looking at. Maybe fourth or fifth. That's that first run that Beta Ray Bill was in. I mean, there's some little treasure. Not, not nothing, you know, there's no New Mutants 98 or, you know. Yeah, nothing. Hulk 181 or anything, <laughs> but there's a couple of little yeah. finer treasures in there. What about, man, just, have, would you do 40 on the box here? 40 on the Marvel box? Yeah, I don't, I probably yeah. don't have enough time to do, like, all of them, but. Yeah, I can do that. You know what, I'll, uh, I'll venture into, uh, doing some of that, look at it. Sounds good. All right, man. Well, enjoy. Yeah. Oh, do you got a few? Put a pile here. Actually, you can use that little, if you want, uh, you can use that little tote and we'll call that your little whole pile. Oh, I forgot that crab. You can have it. <laughs> I didn't mean to leave that crab out there. Oh, now that I think about it. Nope, nope, nope. I need to sell more stuff. I've still got the lobster, so you can have the crab. How much are the trains here? All the train stuff. There he is. When we got that, you just gotta look at this guy and decide. When I was about five years old, <laughs> maybe ten.
Five for the trains, and then five for the game and the pieces here. Sure, thirty for sure. that. Yeah. For that, and I will make several trips to the car. Um, you want that <laughs> Unless you got, right there. yeah, actually, that'd <laughs> actually be great. A more track in there. I think that's a different scale down there. Let's see, that. You have five uh, change. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just. Oh, you five? Is that correct? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're our first customer. The free sale. Uh, the bike. <laughs> <laughs> Four. Okay. Yeah. Uh. You guys have a good day. Thanks. How much is she asking on the cowgirl boots? What? How much is she asking on the cowgirl boots, you know? Ask her. Yeah. Rachel, so no masks. No mask. You need me halfway? I said nobody's wearing them. I um, am vaccinated. I'm good. You need to wear one. You think so? He wants to know how much those boots are. Um, $5? What are we talking about? Oh, talk to him. Oh, good. I guess he's the one. Nothing's marked. Um, how much is your little your table? I think is marked. Let me look. Some of it's marked, but yeah, we're not quite. Uh, set up there. Yeah, everything on these these two tables is a dollar though. Oh, these tables here. Mm -hmm. oh. How much on the, this one right here? Um, five. five. Seven for the boots in this? Sure. Yeah, okay. You said there are nine? The, you said there are nine women's, well, I think right? Actually, uh, I just wore them and I wear a women's size nine. You wear, okay. might be men's boots, so that makes, I don't know. I was just, it's, it it's hard to read the, uh, the, 
the size on it, but if, if you said they're... If you can find the size. But you're a women's nine? Okay. A yeah. A dollar? There's two. Um, how much would you be? I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna put it to Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, I didn't take my camera over there to that sale right there. There was too many people over there. But uh, I ended up buying some internet equipment, new in the box, and uh, it should sell for pretty good. So you guys will see that in the breakdown at the end of the video. Morning. You guys do 20 on the, the uh, shields here? That's 25. Oh, you know what? Let me ask my husband really quick if he's meant for both of those. I okay. The suitcase that goes on the back of the, the motorcycle? Yeah. We we went up to Montana and back in two weeks. Oh, wow. In that 
bag. Well, we also had the side saddles. Yeah. That's Thank cool. You. you want these? Fun, the... fun trip. Oh my god. <laughs> it was insane. It rained every day. Oh really? Well and then. It was such a wonderful experience. Um, adventure. Do you want those in here so they yeah. don't get scratched? Yeah. Yeah. Like keep the box and put we'll them in there. We'll shovel one underneath. You can separate them. Yeah, that should be fine. Just do that. Here we go. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. We've had those. Oh, in let's there. see. Yeah. Hmm. Eh, you know what? I don't need to close it. It's fine. Okay. I can just throw it in the back open like that. Appreciate it. Okay, thank you. All right, that's going to do it for the garage sales today. Once I get back to the house, I'll pull everything out of the trunk and give you guys a breakdown like always. Hey guys, we're back at the house now and it is officially garage sale season. It's beautiful weather outside today. I started at about seven o'clock and ended at noon. I made it to probably eight to 10 sales, I believe. And then I went to one thrift store in between and then I met uh, some people for two local sales. So I made some cash also uh, this morning. But uh, let me take you guys around to the trunk and let's pull out and go over everything that we bought and do a little breakdown. Okay, you guys saw at one of the sales here was some cowboy boots. The brand here is uh, Abilene, I believe. Um, these are probably 30 to 40 bucks. Paid five for those at that same sale. I picked up the Kate Spade paperweight. All right, the Kate Spade stuff is kind of valuable since uh, everything that happened with her. Um, I'm thinking probably 15, 20 bucks on this right here if my wife doesn't want it. I'll pay $2 for that. Uh, I went to another sale that you guys didn't see. I didn't take the camera to because the there was a lot of people walking around, but I bought this internet equipment stuff. Um, it's new in the box. Uh, I'd never heard of TP-Link, uh, but I scanned it and looked it up real quick. Should get some pretty decent money on that. Paid five bucks for it. And then another one here was this Cisco one. And Cisco Small Business. And I paid 20 for it, but I saw the original price tag on it and so I had to look that one up both of those were new in the box so that's why I bought those at that same sale I bought this model car or model truck for a dollar all right it's Jada brand J-A-D-A -A, and I sold a Jada model car about two weeks ago for a hundred dollars used this one probably not that much it has some damage to it like right there it's missing a couple of chrome pieces and uh, it's actually missing the mirror on this side, but um, for a dollar, I'm thinking 15 to 20 bucks at least. You guys saw me at the one garage sale with all the comics, pick up the uh, this box of comics right here. The guy says there's probably 250 in this box. Um, and to be honest with you guys, the reason that I bought the comics is because I don't know that much about comics and I need to learn more about comics and so forty dollars for me to learn hopefully it pays out and i get my money back i think i will there's some pretty good sets in here so let's just flip through it a little bit uh, i picked the marvel box just because well you know i know a little bit about marvel but there's some good stuff in here like some good runs you know there's some hulks that i could lot up together uh, from the 80s and 90s um I don't think there's going to be anything like the guy said, anything that's worth hundreds, you know, uh, in, in these in this box. But I think for forty dollars, two hundred and fifty uh, comics, I think I'll get my money back, uh, if nothing else. Uh, and me and the the boys will have uh, me and the boys will have a good time sorting through that, and maybe looking at the photos and and uh, reading the reading a little bit of it uh, another thing you guys saw was this massive box of uh, model train i don't know much about the model trains but i did look the brand up and i know that some of this stuff can sell a lot of this stuff's kind of like 
newish old stock. It's kind of in the box, but there's also a lot of it that's definitely not in the box. Uh, but I paid 25 for everything at that garage sale. And uh, see, a lot of this stuff is, it's in the box, but it's been thrown around and, and, and uh, stored for a long time and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to really do some research on it, but I think for 25 bucks, I got the entire box. I got three of these Mercedes hubcap covers, two in the plastic. This one's in the plastic. Uh, this one's not in the plastic right here. But I got three of those. You know, those are at least five bucks a piece. So $15 on those. And then I got a really cool game that's down in there. I'll put a um, picture of it up below. I think it sells for 60 by itself. So purely profit after I sell the game on everything else in here. So it doesn't even really matter to me what it sells for. It's going to be pure profit after I sell that game. Picked up the two fishing reels here at the one thrift store I went to. Five bucks a piece. Those are for us to keep. The weather's beautiful. We'll probably be going down to the river. We live right here by the river, so we'll probably be going down to the river um, to do some fishing pretty soon. So I'm just going to keep those. And then one other thing that you guys saw, these Harley windshields right here. All right, not ideal for shipping, obviously, but I did get the box and some peanuts with them. Um, I always pick up Harley parts. The worst part about Harley stuff is finding exactly what it fits, but the model number and stuff is right there, so I'll be able to look it up. It'll just take, uh, it'll take a lot of effort and time to look that stuff up but i'm thinking probably 80 a piece on the windshields and i paid 10 dollars a piece for them 20 for the set so i'm thinking i'll get 160 out of those um, i didn't buy a ton today because i bought a lot of stuff that's going to require some effort to go through like the comics here and like the train set right there um, and so this will take me at least a couple of days to sort through, to say the least. Um, but a pretty good day all in all. The first real day that we got to, to really go to a lot of garage sales. Had a lot of fun and um, definitely made some good profit. Uh, make sure you guys tune back in next week and uh, thanks for watching.